It's that time again. The Sephora Spring Savings Event is here and I went absolutely insane at Sephora and got so many goodies. So I'm going to share with you everything I bought today. If you're unfamiliar with the Sephora Spring Savings Event, it's basically the VIB sale as it used to be called. And Sephora does 20% off to 10% off of their whole website, which people do go a little crazy for it because they don't usually do a all over discount like this. It's not the greatest savings ever. Some of these brands you can find at a better deal throughout the year, but I think it's just convenient because everything you can get all in one place, save a little money, and in preparation for the sale, Sephora has tons of new makeup on their website. So that's why I definitely went a little overboard this sale because I wanted to pick up a lot of these newer laces to review since this is my job. I love reviewing all sorts of new makeup and fragrance. So always keep in mind you don't have to shop like an influencer during this sale unless you truly love makeup, trying new things, but don't feel pressured that you have to buy everything all of these influencers are going to be recommending to you. I always recommend finding someone that fits your skin type and that you tend to like a lot of their recommendations. For me, I have oily skin, so a lot of the makeup I like is geared towards that as well as for fragrance. I love smelling like a dessert, a vanilla gourmand, and if that fits you, you'll probably like my fragrance and body care recommendations. So just something to always keep in mind. But yeah, I'm going to be showing you everything I bought. I did some try-ons as well today, so I have a lot of stuff on the skin because I like to kind of be able to explain a little bit of what the product feels like, what it looks like on the skin. I think it's a little more helpful in these haul videos, but the sale is live right now for Rouge members of Sephora. I'll have the link down below, and if you do come back to my video and shop through my links, it is so appreciated if I ever recommend you a product that you end up wanting to try or you loved. It just really helps your favorite influencers out if you do use their affiliate links or if you use the YouTube shopping here. Also, I did film a recommendations video already. If you're looking for some other stuff that you want to buy, if you seem to like what I like, definitely check that out too. And I'll actually link my recommendations playlist with my years of Sephora recommendations. But enough with this intro, let's get, let's get into the haul. All right, so let's start with some makeup goodies and then I'll kind of go into maybe some body care and fragrance in the middle and back to makeup. A few of these things I did order a little bit early before the sale because I didn't want them to sell out and I really wanted to show you, but most of the stuff I just picked up in store. The stores are stocked right now and I always do the buy online, pick up in store so I can get my goodies right away. So let's start with this because this is something I kind of use today as a primer. This is new from Glow Recipe and this is their Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Hue Drops. Now you may have heard about the Dew Drops in the pink bottle, but this is a new kind of of more bronzy shade. The original is kind of like clear basically on the skin and it gives you such a pretty glow before your makeup. So I use that one as a primer, but I was really interested in trying this because so many people have been raving about it. I was even on a call about the Sephora event that said that this is like one of the best selling products right now. So I really wanted to try it. I've tried the Drunk Elephant Debronzy Drops, which kind of started it all. And now we kind of see some more of these coming out like this Glow Recipe, Coast has one too but yeah it's basically just a kind of glowy slightly bronze tinted primer that you can use you can use it as your skincare you could use it all over the face if you don't really want to wear foundation for the day and I really loved how this blended onto the skin I think that the Drunk Elephant one is really streaky and sometimes looks very orange on me. This was perfect. I think it looked beautiful. It gave me just a slight kind of bronze goddess effect. This will be great because I tend to self tan my whole body usually once a week, but I don't do my face because that breaks me out. So this kind of helps even things out. Uh, this will be great for the summertime too. You can mix it in with your foundations. If your foundations are a little light for the summer, this will be perfect. So I was really impressed with just how well this blended onto the skin. It just gave me that bronze kind of goddess effect, a slight glow, and it makes a really great primer. So, so far I'm happy with that, but I will be updating you guys with these products probably next month after I've used them multiple times. So I did pick up a couple foundations. I had to get the new Urban Decay. I was so intrigued about this. It sounds so good. They sent me out a form that I filled out to get this in PR months ago, but I still haven't got it yet. And I'm like, 
you know, I don't know if I can wait. I want to try this now. I want to see how this is because I'm so excited. So I went ahead and grabbed it in store. You can test all the shades in store and see which one's going to be a good match. But this is the new Face Bond from Urban Decay. It says waterproof foundation up to 24 hour wear with niacinamide. And it's supposed to be a super lightweight feel. Um, and also it says it is sweat and humidity proof, smudge and transfer resistant, and no powder needed. Now, I'm oily, I'm gonna wear a powder. <laughs> I'm just not gonna take my chances with that. But I did use this today, and you know what? This reminded me of how my Prada foundation looks on my skin. And if you guys watched my recommendations video, you know I love that foundation. It has a very similar texture, where it is so lightweight but it still has enough coverage it's like medium but it definitely covers what it needs to and i was just so impressed with how light this feels on the skin it is not heavy whatsoever i feel like it looks beautiful on the skin even with the glow recipe dew drops that i used so i honestly think this is going to be a winner of course i'll have to do a little wear test i'll see if i can update you guys in the pinned comments once I wear this like all day but so far yeah the consistency and kind of feel of this really reminded me of the Prada which is like $70. This is a lot cheaper. Urban Decay does a really good job with foundations. I've always loved their naked skin line that they've had um, so I think this is kind of replacing that and I think it's gonna be I think it's gonna be really good. So I picked up the shade five fair neutral definitely one to look out for this vib sale now is this transfer proof i would say no because while i was doing my makeup i could still feel a little bit of tackiness on my skin so i definitely set with a powder but i wasn't gonna let this go on its own anyway so that doesn't really bother me but i do think it did transfer if you did not set it down but maybe i just need to have it sit but that's just kind of what happened when I used it. So I was kind of just in the mood to buy a bunch of new stuff to test out. So I also picked this up from Ilia Beauty. This is their Skin Rewind Complexion Stick. Now, I don't know. I'm just taking a chance with this one here. Because most, like, stick foundations don't really work that well for me. And I just, I don't know. I want to try some more stuff from the brand. But it says, Skin That Looks Like Skin. This is the fountain of youth in a foundation stick. It's supposed to be weightless, buildable coverage with powerful firming and smoothing ingredients with a natural matte finish it stays up to 12 hours it is supposed to be pretty on like even if you have fine lines and wrinkles to like soften the skin so it sounded good oh i love that they have this little thumb they have a little thumb indent here so it makes it really comfortable to hold so here's how this kind of looks on the skin i would say it has like a subtle subtle sheen to it not overly dewy so i'll have to test this one now in a different video and see what i think i thought i would pick this up since this was new on the market and just something that seemed interesting and yeah i wanted to try a little more from the brand i did pick up a couple things from say beauty they launched a new concealer i forgot to test this out today but this is their slip tint radiant all over concealer i really like their slip tint tinted moisturizer and i thought i would go ahead and try this as well well, I usually don't like a radiant foundation, but since it's concealer, I was really curious. I picked up the shade number three. Let's go ahead and swatch this. It feels actually really nice so far on the skin. Here's kind of how it blends. It looks like it's going to have some pretty decent coverage, and I can definitely see a little luminosity to it here. I was mostly intrigued with this because it does have some more skincare ingredients, and if I can add a little skincare with my concealer, I am all about that. It says it has niacinamide in the formula. It's supposed to be a natural radiant medium coverage for 12-hour wear and to smooth and hydrate skin. So we'll be testing this out in a trying new makeup so stay tuned i have a lot of makeup to test i just got back to from a fun creators and friends event in new orleans where i got to take home some goodies so we have lots of fun makeup videos on the way also from say i picked up one of their dew blushes they did launch some new shades and this is one of my favorite liquid blush formulas i like these even better than the rare beauty ones just because I think these are a little more natural and easier to blend on the skin, and I'm a sucker for a pink blush. You're going to be seeing some more pink blushes in this video, but this is the shade Baby. So cute. This is like bubble gum 
Barbie pink here. This is how the swatch looks and then kind of blend it out. You can see just how nicely that blends. They're very natural on the skin where the Rare Beauty ones are like ultra, ultra pigmented. So sometimes they're just a little bit harder to blend out. And they do have a little dewiness to them as well because they are called the dew blushes, but it's nothing overly radiant. My oily skin can still handle these and they still last pretty long on my skin. I do just set with powder, but oh, that is beautiful. I was thinking it might have a little bit more pigment, but this is definitely on the more natural side. With that, let's just talk about all the pink blushes I bought. So this was a new drop from Give and I really like their makeup line. This is Gwen Stefani's line at Sephora and a lot of the products work really well for me. So I saw that she launched a new cheek tint, the Dewy Plump Collagen Cheek Tint. I got the shade Peony, which is this really pretty, again, bubblegummy pink. I love the checkered print packaging. So let's go ahead and swatch this one. Maybe see how it compares to the Say. This one looks like it's gonna be a lot more pigmented, but it's definitely a gel. Very watery on this skin. But it has a very similar, I think, feel to the Say ones. I think the Say ones might be a little bit more dewy, but this seems just like a bit more pigmented. But they seem like a very similar formula. This is drying really fast too, uh, to a matte finish. So I feel like it's gonna wear pretty well on the cheek. But I definitely wanted to try this out since their products have been such hits for me. But yeah, you can see the difference with the luminosity here. The Say one's a lot dewier. And then I also bought this cream blush from Basma. I feel like I've been seeing this all over Instagram and I love 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 the packaging of these. I was just so curious to try it. So I think I was actually watching Amy Loves Makeup. She might have posted these on TikTok and she's super super fair and I saw her put on this one which is the Rose Bonbon bon, and it's a bubblegum pink. First of all I love this packaging it like slides out which is so fun now I dropped mine on the floor because I'm clumsy so don't mind the little indents here but this is like the lightest bubblegum pink so if you're ultra fair I think this is gonna work I was a little bit nervous when swatching it because this is really really light and a little on the sheer side I'll swatch it here and it has so much like glow to it here it is on the bottom, but this is definitely the coolest tone bubblegum pink that I feel like you can get, and it's super light. I think this just really brightened my under eyes. Like, it's not really giving that super pigmented blush look, but you know how when people use the pink powders and it just brightens things? That's kind of how I felt with this. Putting it on the skin, I just noticed, like, even adding it a little bit into my concealer and under eye area, things were just brightened so much. I wish it had, like, a slight bit more pigment and I maybe I should have gotten a darker shade but I just think this is such a unique color to have and I could definitely see myself using this on a more natural makeup day when I just want to really brighten those cheeks up and I don't want a whole lot of blush because sometimes I tend to go overboard then this is nice but overall I really like the formula you would think with being such a dewy product like this it would like mess with foundation but it didn't lift anything it seems to be a really good option and I think if if you have dry skin this is going to be even more beautiful because it's really going to give you that dewy glowy baby doll cheek look i think this is the last blush i picked up i went a, a little crazy like i said but house labs actually redid their blushes so i had to pick one up because i actually really like the originals but i guess they had to reformulate and maybe change something with the ingredients but it's weird because they actually like shrunk them as well but they had some new shades too this is hibiscus haze which i think is a new shade so as you can see, they totally shrunk the blushes, but they did add this cute little color part here so you can see what color you're getting. So the old blush, this has 11 grams of product, a new one has five grams, so definitely a smaller size. Yeah, you get a lot less product in here. That doesn't really bother me though, because I mean, it takes a lot to use up a blush for sure, so I don't really mind. I didn't really check the price difference. Hopefully it's a little bit cheaper, but who knows? Anyways, this is the Pomelo Peach, which I believe she does have back in the line. I could be wrong, but I wanted to try this pretty pink one. So I actually did add a little bit of this on today on top of the Basma blush just to add a little bit more pigment. I just took a pretty fluffy brush that was pretty small because I didn't want to overdo it. And I thought this was really pretty. It's just a nice rose. They're a powder formula, but they're just like so soft and they blend so nice on the skin. Here is what Hibiscus Haze looks like. Looks like a little bit more blended out. 
But yeah, it is so beautiful. I really love the formula of these. So I had to go ahead and try them. But yeah, I'm kind of surprised that they made them smaller. But I do love this new packaging change for sure. So I can kind of see what color I'm grabbing out of my collection. All right, let's do a little fragrance break here. I ordered quite a bit of fragrance and body care this sale. Mostly little minis because I did not want to commit to the full size. And like, let's do mini first and then I'll buy a full size because you can use the code like however many times you want. So I always suggest doing a mini first making sure that you like it of course you can always return if you hate it but I just noticed that my, myself I am very picky these days when it comes to fragrance I'm not just gonna rave about something just because it was sent to me or if it's not really my vibe I'm not gonna sit here and rave about it so I I like more vanilla scents. I like more gourmand scents I do like some fruity fresh ones here and there but I'm just I've been becoming very picky because I have such a big collection so brown girl Jane just launched on Sephora and I've been wanting to try their perfumes so I picked up a small one of their Casablanca which seemed to be the most popular and the notes sound like something I would like this has notes of marshmallow which really caught my eye love marshmallow and fragrances cardamom incense saffron soft suede vanilla orchid glowing amber soft musk and sandalwood and you know this kind of caught me by surprise I don't know if I love this one it dries down a little prettier but it you do get like this blast of marshmallow in the opening but also it kind of reminds me of marshmallow and matcha in the opening and then the dry down you get a little bit more of those kind of heavier notes like the amber the incense that makes it like a sweeter almost slightly smoky type of scent it's still I would still definitely classify it as a gourmand but I don't know if it's everything I wanted it to be like I don't see myself buying this in a full size but I will keep this little mini in my collection so I don't know I'm just I'm not as blown away as I thought I would be with Casablanca, but I will tell you, um, at my little Creators and Friends event, Lauren May Beauty was there, and she had, like, all her little fragrance minis, so I got to smell them all, and she had the new Brown Girl Jane Carnival. And that one I already ordered in a full size for the sale because it is so good. That one is a delicious, juicy, creamy mango. It's so yummy smelling and it's very sweet. I feel like a lot of mango perfumes these days tend to go a little more perfumey and this one literally smells like creamy edibleness. So if you want one to check out, I recommend the Carnival instead of Casablanca. But if you did like my description of Casablanca, it might be up your alley. I do think it's a sexier, different kind of marshmallow scent, but if you guys have any more recommendations from this brand, let me know, but yes, I have Carnival full size on the way to me because I love it so much. Of course, I also bought all of the new Forever Mood fragrances to try. These are brand new on Sephora. This is Jackie Ina's brand, who is an OG YouTuber, and she's also a huge fragrance influencer. So when I saw she was launching perfumes in her candle line, I was really excited, and I had to go ahead and try them all. So I just got minis, which I guess they have like a little set now because a lot of the minis sold out. I don't know if the set is sold out, but it looks like a lot of the full sizes are still available. Um, let's start with my favorite one. This is called Hard to Get. So this has notes of citron zest, sheer jasmine, and whipped vanilla. And yes, I am a vanilla girl. So of course this is my favorite one and I genuinely love it and I want to buy a full size. So I'm 100% going to buy one after this video this one to me reminds me of a really yummy lemon vanilla like if Dolce and Gabbana's devotion was like too much like lemon cleaner smelling for you I honestly think you would like this one a little bit better because it smells even more edible I think it just blends a little bit better than the Dolce and Gabbana devotion but yeah it does remind remind me of just a really yummy citrusy vanilla i think it's gorgeous so i will be buying a full size of this one it is delicious now the other three i'm honestly i'm not crazy about i just can't i can't love everything but i was a little kind of eh about the rest of these this one here is called nda and this has notes of spiced rum tonka bean and tobacco flour this one I think is fine. It's not too heavy. Like that tobacco, it's not taking over the fragrance like a lot of other tobacco scents tend to do. I think it's pretty. I get the slight florals in here and a little bit of the freshness, but it's just not for me. I'm not a floral girl. 
It gives me almost like a tea kind of vibe. And I'm almost getting some like solar notes in here too. So I feel like this could be a fun summer fragrance. Next one I got is You Remind Me. This one has notes of apricot skin, orange blossom, and sensual musk, which definitely sounded interesting to me. And I do think this is pretty. This is definitely more of your skin scent. It's not overpowering. The musk is really gorgeous in here. And you do get some slight fruity florals. It kind of gives me the vibes of Gucci Flora Gorgeous Gardenia a little bit, but a little toned down. A little more musky, if that makes sense. So this one might be my second favorite, but it's still not one I would buy a full size in. And lastly, we have I Am Her, which I was really curious about this because it has a red velvet note. The notes include red velvet pear and oud. So I was like, oh, this is going to smell like cake. I'm so excited. But no, the oud is definitely um, prominent in here, I would say. It kind of reminds me of... I feel like I always say this, but it, might, it reminds me of YSL Mon Paris. Like, I feel like the oud is giving me almost a patchouli vibe. And I'm not always familiar with ouds, so I'm not the best at describing them. But I'm just, I'm not really into the ouds. I know they do make your scent last forever, though, so I feel like this is going to be the most long-lasting one of the four. But it's giving me spicy, giving me night out sexiness, but I'm not getting... Like red velvet and I don't know what they mean by red velvet. Maybe it's not even red velvet cake like I'm thinking It's just it's fine, but it's definitely a sexy Spicy perfume if you like those kind of scents you would probably like this But yeah, my number one that I am buying full size is hard to get if you're a gourmand girly This is the one you want. Let's get back to makeup again I did get a couple more house labs things first being this foundation now I know everyone raves about this foundation, and for me, it's a nice one, but it doesn't always last the longest on my skin. I feel like it's a little better for dry skin people, but I saw uh, Makeup by Cheryl recommend this, the shade in particular, because look at this. This is like a white foundation. This is in 000 Fair Neutral, and she uses this as a mixer, so when her foundations are a little too dark on her, she just adds a little bit of this to get the perfect match. So I'm like, you know, that's a really great idea so that I'm not buying like two or three shades of every foundation for when I have self-tan and when I'm not. So I think this will be really handy to have. And she says this foundation does mix well with other foundations, and since I do wear typically more matte foundations, I think it should be okay. It shouldn't make it too glowy because this isn't overly glowy, but it just doesn't always last as long as I would like it to. So yeah, I'm really curious about this and I really think this will be so helpful. So I'm kind of reaching for those darker foundations more that maybe don't always work for me all the time. They tend to get pushed back in my drawer. I'm excited. I'm excited to try that and see how it goes. I also picked up the bronzer from House Labs. Everyone's been kind of raving about this lately, but I have used this when it came out, and I've always been a fan of this bronzer, but I actually shattered mine, so I've been needing a new one for a while, and I think the shade that I had was slightly a little dark on me, so I picked a different shade this time. Um, there was a lot sold out, though, so I don't even know if this is going to work, because this is one of the lightest shades in the collection, but I have been liking to go... A little bit more natural with my bronzer so maybe this will help with that so the shade I grabbed is light level one I don't know if this is the lightest or just close but this is such a good formula it is a little on the pricey side but it feels like the blushes it's so soft and like creamy for powder if that makes sense yeah this actually looks like a really good shade it's very neutral Hmm, I'm excited. I'm excited to have this because yeah, I really did love this bronzer. It is so good. It feels so luxe. I also grabbed a Sephora collection bronzer. Now, if you're shopping Sephora collection, you get 30% off of Sephora collection. So definitely some stuff to check out there. I saw they had some new lip products, which I'm kind of curious about getting, but I just got one thing for now, which is the bronzer. So this is their matte bronzer. I got the shade 00 Sun Kissed haze i believe and this is actually really nice the smell though smells like perfume this smells like the smell they put in the Too faced new palettes those little mini palettes uh in the 
Sunset Stripped Born This Way palette. It's very perfumey. I used this just today on top of the cream, which I should have mentioned first, but I'll be mentioning that after. And I think it's beautiful. I think it's a really nice formula. Again, this also feels really soft like the House Labs ones. And here is the tone. Maybe I should swatch them next to each other. Oh, they're so close. Wow. Maybe dupes, I don't know. But House Labs is on top, the new Sephora one's on the bottom. But if yeah, if you don't like scent, you're gonna wanna not get this because it's pretty strong, very perfumey. But I honestly feel like these are so close and feel the House Labs one's a little bit creamier, but the colors are pretty spot on. So I'm excited about this. Definitely pick up some Sephora brand stuff because you save a lot more buying their products. And they have really good quality because Sephora actually owns a lot of the brands at Sephora too. And then the cream bronzer that I had on, this is actually from Too Faced. Uh, I, sometimes they send me PR, but again, I didn't wanna wait. I had swatched this in store when we were in New Orleans and I was like, holy crap, I need to buy this for the sale. This is called their Chocolate Soleil Melting Bronzing Sculpting Stick. And wow, these are so creamy, so pigmented. I was shot like probably the creamiest stick bronzer I have ever tried. I got the lightest shade, which is the chocolate mousse, and it smells exactly like Tootsie Rolls. It smells so good. It's not the usual Too Faced chocolate scent. It's definitely straight up Tootsie Rolls, and it applied really nicely on the skin. I was a little bit nervous applying it directly on, but it actually blended out really nice because it does go on pretty dark, but it is so creamy. It just blends out like a dream. I'm shocked by this. I really am shocked by this, you guys. You need to try this one. You really do. They have four shades in total, and this one's a really nice, slightly cool, neutral undertone. I will say there might be some packaging issues because I seem to not be able to twist this down, and I just bought it, so I'm going to have to do that. Um, that's annoying, so maybe some faulty packaging here because, yeah, it's not wanting to twist down it really is a good formula i'm really impressed by how this looks on the skin now this is something i've had my eye on for a bit because you guys know with oily skin i'm always looking for good powders my holy grail is the huda one but makeup forever came out with the hd skin setting powder matte i think this is the matte one it does say HD Skin Shine Controlling and Blurring Setting Powder. It doesn't have matte in the name, but I need I need those things when it comes to my makeup. So I wanted to grab this, and it seems to be working well so far. I did put it on today, and I can definitely notice it definitely took that shine down for me, which was great, and I do feel like it did smooth. What's really impressive, though, is how big this powder is. You get a ton of product in here. This is 18 grams of product. This is huge. It's almost as big as my head, and I like the packaging in general it has the twist so you don't have a mess like with my huda powder i brought it traveling with me and it's all like come up off the top <laughs> so it's just messy this you can actually close it twists open and shut which is nice so love the packaging and it seems to work really good so this is in light vanilla is the shade i got i don't think they have a translucent but this one basically is translucent on me but I don't know, you guys. This might be a new holy grail. I love Makeup Forever stuff because they make their products for makeup artists. So you know it's meant to make your makeup last all day, which I just love that. So yeah, I'm excited that I finally got this and got to try it out. Another new launch that I really wanted to try is new from Fenty. This is the Demi Glow Light Diffusing Highlighters. And I was so intrigued about these because Demi Glow sounds like they're going to be a little bit more of a natural highlight. I don't like to go super overboard with my highlight because, again, oily. So uh, I did swatch these in stores and they're definitely a lot more shiny than I thought. So this is a typical highlight. I don't think it's really demi-glow, but I do feel like it looks very flattering on the skin, which is why I decided to still go ahead and grab it. So I got the shade Pretty Pearls, which I was a little bit nervous if this would be too dark because it looks a little darker in the pan, but it does go on this gorgeous pearly champagne color. I do have it on today. And it really is stunning. I feel like it really is light diffusing, kind of like how the Hourglass products are. It's really soft and, oh, wow, it just looks beautiful. But it's definitely very beaming. And maybe it's the color that I got too, but I do tend to like more pearly colors like this. But yeah, I was just, I feel like the name is a little deceiving with these because these are definitely not 
a demi glow they're more of like a full glow <laughs> but it's it's honestly stunning so if you do, if you do like a really pretty shimmering stunning highlight that doesn't enhance texture I think you're going to love this one it definitely like shines more once you like kind of move it around in the light but it is so beautiful okay next I have some lip products I tried not to go too crazy just because there's been so many launches lately for lip products the first thing I got is a lip liner I've been wanting to do a little bit more kind of rosy brown type of lips and I didn't really have a good lip liner to achieve that look so I bought this one from rare beauty in wise I really like her lip liners and this is a beautiful color I like that these twist up too so you don't need to sharpen them but yeah I thought this was basically everything I was looking Looking for um, it gives you that rosy chocolate look but it's a little on the darker side for sure but it's perfect for what I wanted so I grabbed that and I actually paired it with this new Huda gloss I've been waiting to try these for the sale it's the faux filler gloss extra shine lip gloss I got the shade posh which is a little bit darker and these are actually quite nice I will say I do love the packaging on these but these are a little bit more sheer I would say but they offer tons of shine I think they are very pretty on the lips, but definitely not as pigmented as I thought they would be, which is fine. They're definitely more of that sheer formula. Mine has kind of started wearing off, so I do feel like these do wear off a little bit fast, but I thought this was like the perfect shade to go with that lip liner. And if you do prefer a super shiny lip gloss, that's definitely one worth checking out. It's not sticky at all. Um, I also picked up another, this is the House Labs Hybrid Lip Glaze. I love these. I got one a few months ago when they launched in macaron and it's seriously my favorite it's supposed to be kind of like a lip oil a lip mask hybrid in one so it does like everything and i got this shade in cocoa again going with the kind of rosy browns let's put a little bit on now oh yes i love these honestly i like these better than the huda these offer a little bit more pigment, but seriously, I think these are so beautiful on the lips. They just like smooth everything out. They plump, they shine, does everything I could ever want. So if you're thinking of the Huda or the House Labs, get the House Labs. I just like these better. So this is, yeah, exactly what I'm kind of looking for here. This is beautiful. So that's in Coco. And then I also picked up the Give Beauty. Again, this came out the same time with the blush, but this is the Dewy Plump Collagen Lip Gel. And I think the shades match because I got the matching shade in Peony. And it looks like this. It's like a thicker tube. It's this beautiful sparkly pink. It looks just like the blush does. And I did apply this for you guys. And honestly... I don't know if I love this texture. I will say the color is really pretty, but something about this, it's like really, really thick. Here is what it looks like swatched. It's so thick and that it almost feels a little sticky, a little waxy feeling on the lips. There's just something about it that I did not love. It just felt like it was too much. And I love a good thick gloss, so I don't know, you guys. I don't know if this is going to be a love. I'm not like quite impressed with it right now so I wouldn't say run out and buy this but I will definitely try it a few more times and see what I think but yeah house labs <laughs> is one you definitely want but this one's like maybe we have to test it out a bit more the color was pretty but yeah I didn't love how it felt on my lips oh my gosh this is literally turning into the never-ending haul okay I did get one skincare item I don't usually buy a lot of skincare I do get sent quite a bit of stuff and I just do not like having stockpile of skincare because it doesn't always last the longest, but I did pick up this new Laneige sleeping mask because this looked really nice. This is the Bouncy and Firm Sleeping Mask to Plump, Hydrate, and Glow. I really like Laneige skincare, so I'm excited about this one. And I just need, I need something good I can put on overnight. And I think this will be so hydrating. I just wanted to grab a little bit from my skin so I can kind of feel the texture. Oh, this is really nice lightweight. It feels like a gel cream. So I think this will be nice for oily skin. It's not really thick at all. It kind of smells slightly fragranced. Very, like, slightly hint of, like, a powdery scent. Honestly, it feels really good. It sunk into the skin pretty quickly. But yeah, it's definitely not like a thick cream if that's what you're expecting i think more of like a nice sleeping mask for oily skin when you just don't want a ton of product on but i'm excited to try this like i said i think laneige usually does a great job with skincare i did get a couple body care things uh this is a new brand on sephora called salt and stone and i just i had to try it because i love my body care 
everyone was saying just how luxe this brand seems. So I did grab one of their body washes. It kind of reminds me of like Necessaire. I picked out the Black Rose and Oud. I think this is the one Makeup by Cheryl recommended. I don't know if I'm gonna love it. Like I said, I'm not usually into the Oud scents, but these are definitely gonna be more of your like luxury spa-like type of scents, nothing like vanilla or anything like that. This smells like a flower garden, to be honest with you. I feel like I can definitely handle this in the shower. I would never buy a fragrance mist of this, but it smells like rich. Like this smells like you have money. And you get a lot of product in here too. This is 15 fluid ounces. I'm, I'm gonna have to try this in the shower and see because I'm not like loving the scent right now, but in the shower, I can wear whatever. I wanna see like how long this lingers. Maybe I should have gotten a different scent. I think they had like a sandalwood one that sounded kind of good, but I wanted to try it. So I did grab this huge salt and stone body wash. And yeah, I think they have different fragrance mists on Sephora as well. Now this is definitely up my alley. This is new Josie Moran body butters. She came out with these whipped argan oil body butters. I feel like I haven't heard from this brand in years, but they had some great body butters, like the vanilla apricot, so good. I was gonna buy one this sale, I think it's online only, but I wanted to try their vanilla because this is definitely a brand new scent for them, but they always do such a good job with their body care, so I had to have it. I just bought the full jar. They do have refillable ones for these two in little big packets that you could squeeze into so you don't have to keep buying this jar packaging but this is really nice feels very luxurious so this is the vanilla vibes let's put a little on it's so hydrating on the skin i love the texture of these it's not like your true vanilla ice cream because it has like a slight lotion base like you guys know how like a let's say a basic unscented lotion kind of has like this base smell i don't know if that makes sense but slightly vanilla i was honestly thinking it would be a little bit more i just love the texture of these i'm honestly wondering if i should have grabbed the apricot one because i know i like that one a lot it's almost like a peaches and cream kind of scent unless they changed it with this new formula and i'm almost wondering if i would like that better but yeah i'm not sure about the scent of this one. It's not your true vanilla because the refill actually has a picture of ice cream cone dripping on it. So I was like, oh, it's gonna smell like vanilla ice cream. Not quite. I do love the formula though. So we'll see. I might order the apricot one and see if I like that any better. I'll still probably keep this one for the feel of it because I would definitely layer fragrance on top of this and for like the hydration, but it's not the best vanilla scent. It really isn't. There's definitely better out there. Okay, almost done, you guys. I'm almost done. I got a couple hair things as well. I purchased this new K18. It's called the Air Wash Dry Shampoo. I'm so curious about this because it's not a typical dry shampoo. It's not in an aerosol can. It's literally like a liquid dry shampoo. It's a spray-on. So, I'm intrigued. I feel like my hair it gets so dry and itchy when i use dry shampoos because it just like really is harsh on the scalp so i really want something more gentle that can still help with the oils so i'm really curious i would try this but i just washed my hair today so this is what i'll have to update you guys on but yeah it's a non-aerosol formula it says that your hair may feel slightly damp but it will not disturb your style maybe for a little bit it just has to like dry down at first but says you only need one spray per section and if you need more you can do up to three sprays so i am so curious about this i'm really hoping i like it because i go through those aerosol dry shampoos way too fast and it just ruins my hair i feel like it really is like the worst thing for it but like i need it because my hair gets so greasy another item i bought <laughs> this is from orbe little bougie i do i do love the orbe products but they're so expensive but they do work i really love their gold line so they actually just came out with this dry heat protection spray and i really wanted to try it i should have bought their gold uh shampoo and conditioner too because i've been using minis of that one and i love it so much i just haven't bit the bullet on the full sizes yet but i do want to try this i do use heat on my hair maybe a couple times a week for curls and stuff but i still want to protect it from the damage it's just you know a heat protectant spray 
that smells amazing that's what i love about the orbe products is like these are like perfumed as well like for your hair they smell so luxe and i love the smell of them they're definitely like rich hotel lobby is what you get from their products it smells so good and that's gonna linger in your hair too like scents in your hair is something that people always can smell on you because it lasts forever in your hair so i'm excited about this i use their texturizing spray with the same scent so i'm hoping i really like this heat spray as well all right last but not least i did buy just a couple full-size perfumes here we got a Jo malone and a burberry this is a restock for me this is a burberry goddess but this one I started it with the one ounce size and I've already <laughs> almost used that up completely. So we went big this time, the 3.3 ounce because it's my favorite, it's so good. I do spray a lot of this when I wear it to make it last. So I do spray <laughs> like a lot. It's not one that you're gonna overdo it with. Like you can spray as much as you want with this one, but it is such a beautiful vanilla. It's not your typical gourmand vanilla, but it smells like rich vanilla it has a slight lavender note it's like a more vanilla version of why sell libra if you guys have smelled that one i just love it so much it's so beautiful i feel like it works perfect for daytime i love it i love it so you guys know i had to buy it in this humongous size i mean it says a lot when i use up a perfume because i have a lot of scents and then i did buy a new full size too and this one I saw recommended by Ksenia here on YouTube. And I went in store to smell it. I fell in love. I really did. This is a Joe Malone fragrance. Now, usually a lot of their scents are pretty light on the skin, don't last long. But if you get these darker bottles, I feel like these are a little more intense, a little longer lasting. So I picked up a Scarlet Poppy. And when I heard this, I was like, you know, that doesn't really sound that good to me. <laughs> like I said, I'm not really into florals. But this smells so good. It's actually so sweet. And it reminds me, actually, kind of of a lipstick smell. <laughs> Which is kind of weird, but I love that. Yeah, it smells like lipstick, but oh my gosh. It's still a little fruity, very sweet. So basically, it just kind of says it has velvety iris and the sweet decadence of tonka bean, which I love tonka bean in my sense. Overall, this is really beautiful. I highly suggest testing it out if your Sephora carries Jo Malone or if you have Jo Malone by you. I know Macy's has a lot of their scents too. Smell this, let me know what you think, because I think it's stunning. It's not overly floral at all. I still get a lot of sweetness in here stunning so i think that is finally everything that i got um at the sephora sale yeah we went a little crazy but i'm excited to review these things let you guys know how i like them you got some little mini speed reviews in this video as well so this is probably a very long video but hopefully like you know i gave you some good information uh so if you guys were thinking about some of these items hopefully i could help you make the decision if you wanted it if you didn't want it but again everything is linked for you appreciate you guys using my links happy shopping if you are rouge getting that 20 percent off i think vib and insider shop on the 9th i could be wrong i'll have the dates down below uh vib gets 15 percent off insider gets 10 percent off for the event but thanks so much for watching my sephora haul you guys and i'll see you in my next one bye